Well, Perry, I'm noticing that a lot of people are using rain barrels now. Sometimes they're using 40 gallon tanks, they're using wine barrels, but this one looks like it's made for that. Yeah, this one's actually nice and produced. It actually has a wire cover on the front, so you're going to set this one right under your eaves. And the idea with a rain barrel, pretty good concept in terms of conserving water. The downside, though, is that they're only about 40 gallons big, like you mentioned. And so, you know, a big rainstorm is actually going to fill up quite quickly. They're going to overflow. What do you do with that overflow in terms of controlling it? Another thing, it's not pressurized. So in terms of watering the lawn or watering your car, you really can't do that with this system. Okay, but if you want to gather a lot more water, and I mean a lot more water, you've got this new innovative uh, piece of equipment. Yeah, there's a new system. It's, uh, it's a rain exchange kind of system, and you actually bury this in the ground right at the base of your eave, so it'll just come right down and it'll fill this up. And this actually three-inch pipe will feed into an existing water feature. So you can have an existing waterfall like what we described in the past, beautiful waterfall that flows into rock. It's actually fed from the rain you've collected off the roof of your house. And you can do 3,000 or more gallons underground. So it's all hidden underground. You can't see it. It can collect the large volumes of water. The concepts here are the same. And you can even pressurize the system so that you can have a pump that'll let you wash your car or even water your lawn off the same water. Great. It's probably best if you hire someone to install that too. I'm thinking it may be a little difficult. We'll tell you more on Classic Landscaping.